So you will from time to time see what we call a complete atomic symbol. And in this lesson you will learn how to read it, what all the different parts of it mean. So here's an example of what it might look like. You might encounter some big complicated thing with a bunch of numbers and symbols here. And the first thing that uh, you want to do is figure out what element that is. So we look in the center, we'll see that the center, uh, the big capital B, the lowercase r, tell us an, a chemical symbol. That is for bromine, so we know that we're dealing with bromine, a uh, bromine atom of some sort. And so now we need to figure out what all these other numbers mean. Well, it's actually quite simple. You already should be familiar with all of these numbers, and I'll tell you what they mean. So the top left number is where we'll start. That is the mass number. If you ever see, uh, and, and where these numbers are matters. If it is on the top left, that is the mass number. Uh, all the time. If you see the number top left, that's the mass number. If you recall, that's the number of protons plus neutrons. So this uh, it's not the number of neutrons. People get that wrong a lot. This atom does not have 80 neutrons. Its protons and neutrons add up to 80. So the next number we'll look at is the... Oops, I should have clicked that earlier. Oh well. Next we got the atomic number. Bottom left, bottom left is always the atomic number, the Z number, which is your number of protons. And then in the top right, you probably know that already, that is the charge. So this top right number is the charge. And so you should be able to interpret, if you know what all of those different things mean, you should actually be able to calculate how many protons, neutrons, and electrons this has. So how many protons does it have? That's right, it has 35. How many neutrons does it have? The number of neutrons is the number that when you add to 35 gives you 80, which would be 45. And then the number of uh, electrons here Number of electrons is what you would need in order to make a negative one charge, given that you have 35 pluses, so that would be 36. So try to construct a complete nuclear chem uh, atomic symbol from the following. Let's imagine that you have an atom that contains 30 protons. 35 neutrons, and the number of electrons is 28. Go ahead and see if you can do that. <laughs> 